today was about like continuing to spin that rhythm up and I feel like it's coming around. I feel like next week it'll be even better. Quick note before today's news. If you regularly watch our channel but are not yet subscribed, help us hit 100k subs. Smash that subscribe button and give us a like and share. Your support is key. Find us at Track Alerts on all socials in the description below. Um, it's a very clean race today, so I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. How are you enjoying the pro level so far? Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's like different because I'm here by myself without my coach. So that is the biggest difference. I don't really enjoy that. Of course, like when you're um, like I still train with my college coach, so I know he, of course, the um, university is his first obligation. <laughs> but it just helps me to be like a better athlete, to learn myself, to know myself, because like one day my coach isn't gonna be there, and I'm gonna have to be able to do it on my own. So, you know, I'm just stepping into it, taking it for what it is, and just learning as I go. Really. <laughs> you said learning as you go. Um, is it what you expected um, so far just coming up really not just but um, you, you came out of college with last year yeah so is, is, is yeah I came out expected so far um, from uh, being a professional yeah so I feel like of course like I knew it was gonna happen like it's gonna be racist that my coach wasn't gonna be present but it's like one of those things it's like you really can't prepare for it until you're really in it and it's one of those things like when I ran to LA um, two weeks ago I was just feeling like so flat, so terrible. And my coach probably like to adjust some things. But since I'm like young, I'm still learning. I was just like, it is what it is. So, I mean, like I said, it's not really like what I expected because it's like, it's different when you're actually, you know, in, in the moment. Mm. And I must ask you this because I asked many hurdlers. You are in uh, the toughest event. The, the most competitive event in track and field. How, how does that make you feel? I, I mean, it's an event that anyone can win on yeah. any day. Um, it makes me feel good, for one, because I'm one of the people that people have to like worry about. So, I mean, it shows that, I mean, I'm doing something right and I haven't even put everything all together. I, have st I still have so many pieces to put together just for me. So, I don't really pay attention to what other people do. Of course, like I see it and it's like, if someone runs faster than me, it's like, in the back of my mind, it's like, I know once everything comes together, I know I'm gonna be fine because I still need to get stronger. Like, these arms is real small. <laughs> Can of course get more technically sharp and then just like more mature, like in the sport. So I have a very high upside. And for me to be like in the mix now with so many things to fix, I'm just taking it day by day. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a big year. What go through your mind when you think about Paris 2024? Um, right now, for, really for me, I'm just trying to get through uh, U.S. championships because, you know, that's dang near the Olympics within itself. So that's really my main focus. And then I reset and then head out to Paris. So that's my goal is really to just focus on um, trials first and then handle the job after that. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. Okay.